eSports. The short name for electronic sports is a form of collaborative online video gaming that is becoming increasingly popular. All over the world, eSports teams compete against one another and some of the biggest tournaments take place in stadiums in front of huge audiences. Esports began a long time ago, you know, right back from when we originally had uh, the first arcade games. And it's started there and the competition element of it, you know, fighting your friends for the high score on Pac-Man or Space Invaders really took off and it became something that you wanted to do on a more regular basis. Since then they started creating consoles and um, PCs started getting better and better and before you knew it we had this industry called eSports. We saw the Xbox, the original Xbox go to the Xbox 360 which then had multiplayer functionality and everyone was starting to be able to communicate with people across the world and play games with people across the world and that's when tournaments really started. Who plays eSports? Everyone can play eSports. One of the best things about eSports is how inclusive it is. Um, I've been playing for 20 years and I've been playing with people half my age and twice my age. How have eSports developed? It's developed over a long period, maybe the last 40 years, and then it really took off when the internet started becoming more prevalent in people's homes. Then suddenly you're at this new era where you can play versus anyone in the world, you know, from your living room. And that really just opened up a whole new opportunity. I've come to Marling School in Stroud, Gloucestershire, to see eSports in action and to meet some players. How often do you play eSports? At school I play once a week and at home I play every day two to three hours. eSports, only about an hour a day, just come into school, do it at lunch, play with my friends. But actual gaming other than eSports, I would play for about three hours a day. So I play once a week uh, within the school, uh, come together with a small group of friends in a team of three. Actually playing the eSports, probably only about an hour a day, but again, video games in general, I'm playing quite a lot at home as well. So at least three hours a day. And what kind of games do you play? Um, my favourite at the moment is League of Legends, uh, which I play with my friends. I am a Overwatch player, which is a shooter game, tactical team-based combat. What is it that you like about playing esports? Well, every game's different and they're all, they have their degrees of fun and it's just a nice thing to do in your free time. There's three things. There's the community, there's the games itself, and there's just this added rush of playing it competitively. I'm shooting the shield, I'm getting the shield. Get the shield, get the shield. What are the benefits of playing eSports? There are lots and lots of benefits to playing eSports. It it's comes from being able to take a challenge on and succeed or fail. You know, you can learn so many great things. Particularly with team games, there are so many more things you can learn. Um, you can see yourself improve in areas like cognition, um, your mental ability to um, absorb difficulties or challenges, and then also to overcome them. Um, there are other huge, obvious physical benefits as well. So your dexterity, your reaction times, your ability to perceive um, maybe a threat and then problem solved to how to deal with that threat. I'd say the main thing that people take from eSports is confidence. Learning how to play a game and being able to speak up about different issues that you might have within a team. All in all, this can transfer into leadership skills. Your job is to basically make sure that everyone within a team is doing their specific role that they're supposed to be doing. One of the main things is that the skills that you learn through eSports are transferable into a career. So for instance, you'd learn um, team building and teamwork and leadership, um, confidence, um, problem solving. How might eSports develop in the next few years? I think eSports is going to continue to grow. At the moment, we're not quite at the levels of public acceptance that we would expect. You know, if you still talk to people's parents or, and they think, oh, 
my son's staying at home all night playing video games when we want him to go outside and kick a ball around or, you know, that's a perfectly acceptable thing to do. Obviously, we you know, encourage moderation. One of the best examples I like to use is, would you rather have your child watching six hours of reality TV or would you rather them learning transferable skills playing games with their friends? Come on, you see me. Thank you. Come on it. No. Let's go! Yeah. Go! Go! Yeah.